Hey YouTubers, welcome to Dude Rally Me Forgeal and this quick tutorial on MSI Afterburner and how I've set it up to use in my videos. This is a requested video, I was asked to show you how I set up my Afterburner, the information you see in my gameplay videos. So, so here's MSI Afterburner, you can download it free, just type this into Google and download it. So we go into settings and here I don't mess around with anything, I just start with windows have that checked fan i was also asked how i keep my gpu so cool i use a custom fan curve and here it is you can see i like my gpu to stay very cool i don't mind them loud so at 70 it's running at max especially sli i don't like my cars to run too hot okay and now the important one monitoring Here's how I get all my information to show up on screen and gameplay. And this is how I have mine set up, but you can mess around with it and do whatever you want. The thing is, what you have to do is click whatever you want to show up on screen and then show on screen display, check that, and now that will show up in gameplay. And you can disable it. Very easy. Now let me show you a video I have here. So, frame rate, I like that at the top. And as you can see in the video, that's at the top. You can have that at the bottom, in the middle, wherever you want it. And then we go CPU temperature. And as you can see, the next thing is CPU temp, then CPU usage here, and GPU, and so on. Right now, I have two GPUs installed in SLI, so you're going to see in GPU 2 here, but if I didn't have a second GPU installed, I wouldn't get this option. So you just click on it and you just drag if you want this at the bottom, wherever you want it, and you can move the knees around. And then we have on screen display. And the only thing I mess around with here is the first one. Toggle on screen display on and off. So if you're just playing a game for fun, and you're not performance testing, you can just turn it off in game. I put it to zero. You can change it to whatever you want. Screen capture, I leave. I don't touch this. I don't touch video capture. Profiles, I don't touch. User interface, the only thing I messed around with here was the skin. I changed mine to dragon. You can have whatever you want. I think this looks cool. So if I show you something, if I turn it off. Right now, that's how it looks. If I turn it on. You'll see this icon. River Turner. You need to go into here and make sure that's enabled. Show on screen display. You can turn it on and off. Within the settings, I don't touch anything here. So here I pretty much leave it as default. Application detection level, I leave alone at low. Most games support this, but I've had issues in the past sometimes with uh, Wolfenstein. It wasn't showing up and I just changed it to Vector2D and it showed up. I'm not sure exactly why, it just works that way. So most games work fine on this. Vector3D. You can place the FPS information anywhere you want. Click on the sides. And you can change the color. I leave it here. So when I'm recording at 1080p, I have it on this exact setting. You can change the size of the information shown on the screen. 1080p, I have it here. It's nice and big, clear. But in 4K, but in 4K, this shrinks a lot and it's hard to see, so I change it to raster 3D and it makes the te text bigger and I think it's clearer. And then I move this all the way up and that's how I record in 4K so that you can see it clearly. You can also change font, but I, I leave it as default. So this is how I have mine set up and you just close and it saves your settings and yeah that's how I do my thing 
I hope that's okay. I didn't want this video to be too long. So if there's anything I missed, just ask. Thanks for watching. Until next time, peace.